three delicious three ingredient dinners plus one three ingredient cocktail. Cheers. Cheers. Hey everybody, welcome back to prep school. My name is Victoria and I am currently on week four from working from home. For this episode, we're talking three ingredient dinners. I'm really determined to use what I have on hand and get creative with what I'm making. For one, to avoid public places as much as I can right now, but also to save money and waste less. And these three ingredient dinners are the answer. To come up with a three ingredient dinner, I follow this three step process. Process. First, I like to start by choosing the main ingredient. This is something the meal will be centered around and that can be easily built off from. So maybe it's pasta, a baked potato, a can of beans, or a protein like fish or ground turkey. From there, the second step is to add a flavor booster, a spice mix, a jar of tomato sauce, curry sauce, or salsa. And last but not least, add a vegetable. We're gonna head into the kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to make three of my favorite three ingredient dinners. The first three ingredient dinner I will be making is a chickpea curry with frozen cauliflower florette. <sighs> All right, defrosting my cauliflower, just put it in a bowl with a little bit of water. I'm gonna start with two minutes because I don't like my veggies to get soggy, so let's start with two minutes and see where that puts us. So we're all ready to start cooking. I'm just gonna turn the skillet on Ooh. medium. If you wanted to saute this a little bit, you can. You don't have to. Chickpeas. I'm just gonna add this yummy sauce. Wow. I'm gonna put a little water in here and rinse this out because I don't want any of that sauce to go to waste. I'm just gonna give this a stir and let it all heat up, basically. Ooh, yummy. If you are somebody that has to watch their sodium levels, what you could do is do half and half. So half this, half plain milk to still get that creamy consistency. Ta-da! This is gonna be my lunch. All right, three ingredient dinner number two is the bruschetta pasta with spinach and kale. My water finally started boiling back there, so I'm going to pop in my pasta. That's probably good. All right, so this is gonna boil away for 10 minutes. Olive oil. I'm gonna throw in my spinach. You know it will stunt to nothing, so we're we're adding quite a bit in there. First shot of time. Oh yeah. Yum. Turn that up just a little bit to get it really going. All right, time to add the pasta. I am gonna get some pasta water. All the starch that's in the water helps thicken sauces up. Ooh, steamy. I will add just a little bit of this pasta water. Make it a mess. Close up time. Oh yeah. All right, eat that. All right, so the third and final dinner of our three ingredient dinners is our veggie stir fry with rice. So this pan is pretty warm. I'm gonna pop some sesame oil in there. Lovely. So this rice is gonna go down first. Oh yeah, that's what we wanna hear. So when I defrosted these in the microwave, I did add a little water so it could just steam a little bit and get warm. And then I drained it pretty well. This is a pretty hot pan and you don't ever wanna to add too much water to a hot pan with oil in it. I had rice for dinner last night and I just made more. I always make more than I need. Now I am gonna make a little well. I'm gonna add these veggies. And I'm gonna add my soy sauce. One quick dash and see where that puts us. I am gonna add a little more. Pretty good to me. Voila, ta-da! Now before I bring my lovely husband over here to taste test these yummy dinners, I am going to make an easy three ingredient cocktail to go with. Earl Grey tea, I mixed in a little honey. One one ounce shot of some yummy gin. I consider lemons and limes a pantry staple. You, you can share the chair with me. One butt cheek each. Cheers. Cheers. All right, taste away. Let's go with the first one. 
Guess how I made it. You roasted the cauliflower. And it was even easier. Frozen cauliflower that I just warmed up, steamed in the microwave, a jar of curry sauce, and chickpeas. And that's it. I'm not even kidding. I didn't do anything to it. It's delicious. I'm really good. Yeah, breakfast tomorrow. I'm an egg on top. You know this one. We had this like three nights ago. Because I love it. That was a little bit. <laughs> Let me try one more bite. I'm so good. Last but not least. It's good. Can the fourth ingredient be salt? No. <sighs> I'm tired. Will you clean up for me? And that's that. Three delicious three ingredient dinners. Be sure to check out edmelt.com for more easy and inspiring recipes. Follow me on Instagram here at Victoria Seaver and let me know if you make any of these dinners. Go ahead and tag me if you end up taking a photo or if you have any three ingredient dinners of your own. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching, happy cooking, and I'll see you guys next time.